guys, what's up? It's me, Katie, and welcome to my Get Ready With Me for Homecoming vlog. I'm really excited to film this vlog today because I've never done a Get Ready With Me for like a school dance. So yeah, I'm really excited right now. My hair is very oily and my makeup looks very bad because I just taught skate school. I feel like every time after skate school, my makeup looks so bad. I don't know why, but it is 12.30 right now and Quinn and I have to leave my house by 4.45 at the latest. So four hours sounds like a long time, but I take forever to get ready so we're gonna hop in the shower now so I'll see you guys in a second when I am all showered and ready for makeup all right you guys so I'm all showered and ready for makeup so let's get started I am starting out by moisturizing my face with the drunk elephant whipped cream moisturizer now to fill in my pores I'm using the Tarte timeless smoothing primer Next, I am using the Tatcha Water Cream Moisturizer on some of my drier areas like my nose and my under eyes. Now for foundation, I am using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Wear Foundation in the shade 440 and I'm blending it in with a Real Technique sponge. Next up for concealer, I'm using Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light and I'm putting that on all my highlight areas and again blending in with the Real Technique sponge. Next I'm using the Chanel Cream Bronzer and applying that with again my Real Technique sponge. Now I'm going to do my under eyes and I'm using the same concealer in the shade Light Tarte Shape Tape and I'm blending that in with my sponge and then I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Powder in shade Light to set that immediately so it doesn't crease. Now with the Cody Airspun Loose Setting Powder in the shade Translucent, I am setting the rest of my face. Next up for bronzer, I am using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Now with that same loose setting powder, I am baking my under eyes and right under where I put that bronzer. Moving on to eyes, I am using the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly to prime my eyelids. First, I'm going to put the color Sandalwood from the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette in my crease. Next up, on a little bit of a smaller brush, I'm taking the color Henna and blending that in with Sandalwood. Next, I'm going to be taking the color Shy and just kind of blending those two colors together. Now in the Dose of Colors Desi X Katie Palette, I'm going in with the color Churro and blending that on my outer crease. Now I'm taking the deep brown shade called Sheens and applying that to my outer corner and kind of blending it into my crease. Now with the same MAC Paint Pot in Painterly, I'm going to be doing a half cut crease. Now for my favorite part, Sparkle, I'm going to be using the Stila Magnificent Metal in the shade Diamond Dust and applying that where I just cut my crease. Now to set and kind of blend the powders on my face, I'm using the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. Next up for blush, I'm using the colors Angelic and Fortunate from this Tarte Blush Palette. Now for highlight, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezi Highlighter and applying that to my highlight areas.
For my lips, before I put on any drying liquid lipsticks, I'm gonna be doing the Lip Sleeping Mask from Lingerie and leaving that on for like 10 minutes. Now for lashes, I'm using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise first and just applying that to my top and bottom lashes. Next up, I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and again, applying that to my top and bottom lashes. All right, you guys, so I just switched to my bigger camera because my little camera died. So here is the finished makeup look. I still have to do my lips, so that is it. But right now, I'm gonna curl my hair. This is a Hot Tools curling iron. I'm gonna section off my hair. So when I curl my hair, I like to do it backward and then forward and then backward and forward. Just keep alternating so the curls don't just go one way. A lot of people say that and use that trick, so yeah. Also, when I curl my hair, I don't like to curl the ends. I kind of like the way it looks because I do have short hair. I feel like if you had longer hair, it would kind of look weird, but I like the way it just stays straight at the end with my short hair, so that's what I do. I just leave about this much out of the curling iron. So now taking the next piece, I am going to go in. So I'll start here, leave a little bit out, and go in. bottom section took down my hair and I'm gonna do the top now so I do the exact same pattern on top I do away first so it's like out of my face and then I do in out in out just like I did on the bottom section This is pretty much my hair curled. It took a lot less time than it usually does because I just cut my hair into layers. My mom and I, I think, are gonna try a hairstyle where we like braid it on the sides and then attach it in the back. I will link the tutorial we use down below because ours won't be very helpful. So yeah, that's what we're gonna probably do. If that doesn't work, I'm just gonna wear my hair down and curled, but yeah. Here is my hair curling tutorial. Hope that was informative. I don't know. Everyone kind of curls their hair the same, so yeah. I'll probably see you guys when my hair is all done and I'm getting ready to get dressed and everything, so I'll see you guys soon. All right, you guys, so here is the finished hair. I will show you the back right now. My mom did an awesome job, so thank you, mommy. Here is my dress and my shoes. If you guys watched my last video, you've seen this. So I am all ready. I put these earrings on. Here is my makeup. Put some lips on, a lip gloss. And yeah, I'm pretty much ready to go. I'm really excited and I'm just kind of waiting for Quinn to get here. So I'll let you guys know when he is here. Hi Quinn, hi Katie, hi. How was dinner? It was good. Look at you. Ooh, Looking all clean. handsome. With my popo lights. Ready to see my model please? guys as you can see I'm back home it's like 10 30 Quinn just brought me home so if you enjoyed this homecoming get ready with me please give it a big thumbs up I would really appreciate that stay hydrated also you guys if you have not already and you would like to please click that subscribe button down below to become a member of our big happy iKitty family because I love all my skaties so so much wait you love them yes
But I, I love you too. I love them too. Also, for behind the scenes and to follow me on my skating journey, follow all my social medias at SK, SKTIE for Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. Remember, you are so, so awesome and don't let anybody ever tell you otherwise. I love you all so, so much, and I will see you guys next time. Good night, skaties. Bye.